All right, hey guys, welcome to K2 and Freeride's uh, Boot School. We're going to be looking at different types of uh, ski boots. So if you're in the park or if you are riding Big Mountain, which is going to fit you? Alright, talking about what type of boot uh, you're going to ride in, uh, there is the uh, three-piece boot and the two-piece boot. If you don't know the difference, I'm going to show you. So the three-piece boot, which is more an older version, I would say, it's from Reichle time. So this is one, and you have the shaft is two, and the bottom part, which is three. And in a classic boot, there's the bottom part and the shaft. That's the main difference. And what's, uh, what's what? So here, the tongue is where the flex is. This will give you uh, a smoother, the, the flex is softer in the beginning, so it gets harder and harder and harder. So this is a really good boot for park riding. Uh, if you're a hard charging guy that wants to ski with your family as well, uh, you'll be able to make easy turns because it's easy entry uh, into the turn with a, a not as hard flexing boot in the start of the turn, which is uh, a classic boot has more of a, if you say 130 flex, it is 130 flex. Of course, it's gonna be a little softer in the beginning, but not in the same range as this one. So that's the major difference between the three piece and the two piece. All right, also talking about the liners a little bit, you can see that this is the, uh, the Intuition wraparound, which is a double layer in the front. Uh, looking at a classic, you have the tongue and then the back part. So this will give you more, uh, more wraparound, so chin bang for pork riders is uh, not as common as if you use a traditional one. You often see the, the wraparounds in the three-piece boots. All right, talking more about what kinds of boots are out there today. Um, there is uh, a big segment today is the free ride with uh, tech inserts for uh, round and round skiing. Um, as you can see, there's one from Full Tilt, which is one of the three-piece ones, and then a classic standard two-piece uh, two-piece two boot, uh, both with uh, tech inserts and with walk modes. So you just open that one. And this one works like this. Uh, there's multiple ways to have a walk mode and all the brands have their own way to go. The big difference is just you try to get a lighter boot uh, and you have the insoles for the tech bindings as well. You can compare, uh, if you're looking at the two piece ones, the Pinnacle, this one could be compared with that one. The big difference here is a little bit of weight and uh, the walk mode and the tech inserts. So if you're, if you're trying to expand and you know, go broader skiing wise, you don't have to stick with the normal boot. You can get the, the tech inserts boot and then you have that option to go out there with round and air gear as well. A little bit more uh, about the uh, Pinnacle. If you want the ladies version of that one, you can always get uh, the women's one, it's the same thing, a little lower in the back cuff, uh, smaller in sizing, other than that, it's basically the same boot. Uh, 
Um, if you're looking further on uh, with the classic skiing boots, this one for the men and this one for the ladies. The classic for our ladies is it's a little lower in the back cuff. Uh, other than that, it goes uh, further down in sizing. Uh, pretty much the same, same boot, just smaller size, low in the back cuff. This is more for the hard charging uh, piece, off piece, uh, nearby lift access. Uh, this is what you're going to choose. Park riders, we've shown this one before. Uh, the three-piece boot with the wraparound liner. It does get a little softer up here landings. Also, in uh, the more park-inspired boots, you have a dampening in the bottom sole of the boot, so it's going to be a little softer, and you have more flex for hard landings and uh, just hard-charging park riders. It does, you can ski as well on this boot as in any other boot. It's just, you have those features. All right, talking about uh, flex index on boots. Um, I would say there's not really standard, but because there's a difference, if you have 130 flex in one model, there's not, it's not gonna be exactly the same in the other or different brand, so you have to find your way a little bit, but 130 is a, a pretty decent hard stiff boot, so if you're hard charging uh, Christine Hagin, you are definitely riding at least 110 up to 130. So the flex is basically, uh, uh, from a two-piece uh, point of view, a two-piece boot, uh, the flex in the back, or a lot in the, in the, this area, um, the bottom part goes up, so depending on how, how high it goes, the harder it gets, and uh, basically different models, different brands have their different solutions. Uh, K2 has uh, no rivets in the back, uh, they have the power spine, which um, in this case it uh, prolongs the, the area with no breaking points, so you have an even flow of energy. Um, so 130, as I said, stiff boot, the ladies is 110, and then it goes down to 80. So depending on how you ski, how much you weigh, uh, you choose your model. We have a three-piece boot, which is, in this case, the full tilt. Um, they have a different, uh, a different tongue system as, um, as we talked about earlier. So the flex is indexed in the tongue on this one, and it goes from uh, 6, 8, 10. So a 10 would be about 130. And then you can just count backwards and you find your way. You can actually change these tongues so you can have this boot with a 10, with a four, with a six, whatever you want to have. Just clip it out, comes loose. And here there's a little chart that says which uh, flex index it has. So a, a 10 tongue is 130. It goes down from there. All right. All right, guys, uh, that was all from the Boot School for this episode. If you want to see more episodes, check out here. If you want to see some more video clips from Freeride, check out here. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>